All right, so we are with John Warden, a design manager extraordinaire of Transformers. Uh, I would love to hear a lot of everything you can tell us about Omega Supreme and the thought that went into its design and man it's big <laughs> it's beautiful he is, he is big and he's designed to be uh, on par with your uh, Titan Quest Devastator if you've been with us for collecting for a couple of years now um, the detail on this guy uh, is based out of um, a little more of a it's it's kind of a to match the rest of the line there's lots of surface detail but overall the proportions are very much based in G1 cartoon show you can see we went with the humanoid head uh, it actually has a functioning light pipe so you can see his eyes being able to almost glow as the as the showroom lights hit it um, he's he's a fun transformer in that he's got a lot of great articulation but the way you you transform them or you convert them from robot to vehicle is, is pretty spectacular well for first focus on the articulation you've got um, elements this this side moves in and out um, this can rotate and has lockable joints this is a prototype so it's not going to do it very well um, these things all of the, the mandibles fully articulate there's a spot in the end there for, for cannons. He actually rotates at the waist, which is kind of a big first for, for him. Screen. Yeah. Um, it's got rocker ankles like the rest of Siege, so you are able to get these great wide poses. Um, ratcheting hips. Um, but when you go to, to convert him, uh, I don't think this can work, but uh, he's got these things will flip up. I don't want to force it because the, the, the prototype make it messed up. Yeah. But you can see that these guys flip up this module. Um, comes out and will become the, the tank. Uh, the tank actually straddles the, the track. The track is designed to be two micro masters wide, um, so it's like a two lane highway. If you um, were ambitious enough to collect multiple guardians, you could connect all of the tracks together and form like a super highway that could snake around <laughs> not just a ring, but you could actually have it for multiple S shapes across the floor, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see the three millimeter ports are positioned all over the place. This is so that you can take the, the uh, blast or the uh, fire blasts from other products and you can place them around the product in these different spots or place them onto the five mil uh, section so that it looks like he's uh, taking fire, you know, from the Decepticons or whatnot. And these blast effects look a little different. They've got like a smoky look to them. Like yeah, they're... these ones are, they're, they're multi-stage, so they all kind of, like jet fires, they're made of multiple uh, elements. They're able to either be broken up into separate smaller explosions or you can form a long fire blast to, to you know, like a big heavy blast coming out of this cannon or whatever. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of pretty cool features on this guy. Not, notably, if you look in the in the uh, rocket mode, the rocket's actually formed of his arms, so it's, it stretches through the entire Titan. But up here at the top, you can actually see this is a little a little messed up. But, um, <laughs> there's a little door uh, that allows you to put a MicroMaster inside. He can go like, inside and look out the window. Yeah, he can. But there's also lots of little hiding places all over the place. You can see the inside of the rocket base over there has detail, but there's also cool detail in here as well. When you hinge these up, you're actually able to flip this open, and there's a spot for MicroMaster to hide inside. Uh, kind of like uh, Thunderbirds-esque <laughs> yeah. battle, battle station. Um, this, uh, this is a, These are able to pose, as you can see. And then when you look at the bottom, there's actually rolling wheels that allow you to kind of set this guy onto the track. So you can set him there, um, position all your MicroMasters. We've elevated the track this time around so that it feels like a um, like a base station, a uh, place for the Autobots to take their last stand. Um, I think really the detail is see, which you have to see it to believe it. Um, it's lots of great little um, super city kind of details in there that are actually in the same uh, modeling scale as Fortress Maximus and some of the other Titans. So yes. if you're collecting all of these yeah. Titans, there's a consistent uh, model model working yeah. style across all of them, which is kind of based on the, the end scale, uh, one one fiftieth scale. Yeah, you get a lot of guys underneath it, on top of it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's and it, it's like I said, it's a lot of fun to tramp, is convert from one mode to the other. Um, he's he's uh, religiously parts for me, so this thing is actually a big separate piece. So you could fly around your house. 
<laughs> well, so the original original was like unlike most transformers, like it would break into a thousand pieces and then you have to like put it all together. This one looks like well, like the tank of course is a separate piece and the rockets are a separate piece. The base is connected to the legs. Yeah, you have to break the the yeah, tracks these, apart to the, get that's what we're trying to do. Let's see. Do come off. <laughs> I'm going to try a little different yeah. angle here, if that's the all right. The tracks come off, and um, they are able to splay open, and then you can position them in, in a multiple different ways by way of these connection points. And these connection points are backwards compatible to, like, should be on and other things. Cool. So there's multiple um, layouts of the track? Yeah, if you have multiple. I mean, you, oh. you, could, you don't have to do it this way. You could have it snaking out. So you're saying they, they're backwards compatible to... Like uh, Trypticon ramps. Trypticon, Trypticon Maximus, yeah. Oh, wow. That's neat. Yeah, so if you wanted to, you could build, build a big super city out of them. Can we get a couple last quick thoughts on, on uh, sure. Jetfire? Yeah, you got it. So Jetfires are all new Commander class. Commander is a, an 11-inch larger uh, transformer. And because the scale is consistent across War for Cybertron Siege, we knew that this character was physically bigger in the show. Uh, when you pick him up, he's actually heavy. Almost feels like he's made of die-cast metal. Um, he's got a lot of really innovative uh, pieces to his, his conversion. So his head fully articulating, but when you convert him, this door actually hides, spring-loaded doors actually hide the head in the back here. So when you convert them, these doors actually kind of clutch close. He's got lots of special features, like if you look at his hand, his hand actually, when you close it, reveals a 5mm port, and then it moves out of the way, so you can have a clean on shelf display. But he so also his fingers are out, then he doesn't have the hand port. When it's closed, then it's then it's got a place for it to sit in tightly. That's cool. correct, and it's in it's in both modes. So if, he looks more like Skyfire from the show in this mode. But he's got this. If you remember from the original, uh, the episode where he appeared, you can convert <laughs> him from a Decepticon. And when he realizes uh, Starscream is a bad guy, he can convert to an Autobot. That is awesome. We've, he also comes with a litany of weapons and armor that are able to, to detach as a module off the top of this thing. There's a, inside here, it's just, this is an early sample, but there's a door that opens and there's his mask. It's fit, fitted in there, his mask can attach onto his head firmly. The weapons and armor can, can attach all over his body to kind of give him a more jet fire look. There's also a couple of cool features in the vehicle mode as well. But wait, that's not all. <laughs> Not only can it's, you connect, it's huge. can you connect? Wait, there's the, more. You can connect the contra the, the, the effects out. onto the back. These are made up of three each. Yep. Uh, there's there's an Easter egg feature here where this can open. This engine piece can remove, and you can actually put a Titan Master inside. Oh. Has working landing gear. You can see. Uh, and how do you put a? Wait a minute. Where do you? Where does this Titan Master go inside the cockpit? Yeah, so you're able so to. That's gonna fold down. This folds down. This. Oh my god. This comes out. I, I, I. It's an early sample, but that that computer brain situation kind of comes out, and you can actually put a Titan Master in there. We. Oh. It's not a feature we talk about, but I think it's fun feature. You just. That, that's awesome. Super cool. And you can actually also, if you're a GI Joe fan from the '80s like me, you can actually have figures hold on, and you can fly them. Oh, oh cool. On. And so you, there's actually four spots for, hand for characters to grip. So I can uh, probably... We're just trying to make all of our dreams come true in one transformer. <laughs> That's the plan. Well, I figured with Commander class, it's a new scale. So we want to make sure we like come out with a bang. So that, you can see oh. that guy. Oh, that's great. Able to like hang loose and you there, coming in to help out reinforcements. Wow. Hey, can you show the Autobot logo reverse to the Decepticon logo? Yeah, sure. John, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Hey, you bet, man. Anytime. Uh, have a have a great toy fair. We will. <laughs> appreciate it.